Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A ring of area S in a uniform magnetic field X. So the magnetic field value is given X. Initially, the magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of ring. So initially, uh, it is just placed the way it is shown in the diagram. The ring is rotated by 180 degree in the total time T. So in total time T, so the ring is now flipping itself completely. And the time taken for that process is capital T. You need to find the average induced EMF. So now we have done quite many questions of this kind. So I believe you would be in a better position to understand this. Let us again try to do this. So as I've already given told you that E is equal to negative D phi by DT. This is the formula actually given by Faraday. And this formula belongs to the instantaneous EMF that is induced. But we want to find the average value induced. So in average, this D is converted into delta. So negative sign, we can just get rid of this. No, no problem with that. Because anyways, we are not interested in the direction of the induced current. So negative, we can get rid of it. So it is just the change in the flux, total change in flux in total time. So this will be phi two minus phi one divided by total time t. Now, the, in the case number one, it is placed like this. Let us say this is the ring. I'm creating my own diagram now. And this is the area vector, which is S, which is given S here. So let us take it S. So the magnetic field in the first case is also in the same direction. So the angle is zero. So accordingly, we can find phi one. So phi one will be magnetic field B. S is the area into cos zero. By the way, the magnetic field is given as X. So we have to call it XS and cos zero is one. And we are taking it to be positive and cos zero is one. Now we're going to find the phi two. So what is phi two? In the phi two, this magnetic field, okay, sorry. The magnetic field is in the same direction, by the way. But the area has switched itself, isn't it? Because now we are flipping our hand, like this is my hand, I'm flipping it like this. So first of all, the area vector is like this, and now I have flipped, so area vector is now downwards. Accordingly, the area vector now is this. This is the S vector. Clearly, we can see that now the angle is 180 degree. So this becomes B into S into cos 180. Cos 180 is negative, so it becomes minus BS, which can be written as minus XS because X is the magnetic field. Now, we are going to substitute these values here. Phi 2. So phi 2 is already negative. Minus phi 1. Phi 1 is positive. Total time is T. Clearly, my answer is this. And there is a negative sign here. If you do not want to neglect it, even then we would be getting the same answer. If you are neglecting the negative sign, so we can neglect the other negative sign also because we are not interested in the direction. Anyways, in both of the cases, you would be getting a positive answer, which is 2xs divided by d. And so our answer is capital D. Yes, this is how we do this. So my dear students, if you have seen all of the questions in my playlist, you might have seen that this same question has been repeated like nearly five times, like four or five times this question has been repeated. There is a high chance that you would be getting a same or a similar question. So this question becomes really very important. Try to do this question by yourself a couple of times and then keep watching the videos. So my student, this is Professor Varun. I have started uploading paper to questions also, but if you want to access those paper to questions, you have to join the YouTube channel. And for joining, the link is given in the description box. All the best. Bye. Should I show you the answer, by the way? Yeah, the answer is D for us. And clearly, the answer is D. All right.